the cheapest Louis Vuitton bags out there? Hmm, what is the cheapest Louis Vuitton bag nowadays? Welcome back to a mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I'm gonna go to Louis Vuitton and check out what are the most affordable or the cheapest handbags still available given all the crazy price increases we've been seeing. So uh, let's begin and like always if you like the content on this channel please consider like subscribing and sharing it would really help a lot. Well here we go. Uh, to start off, I want to set up some ground rules, so when I'm talking about the cheapest or quote unquote most affordable Louis Vuitton bags, I know that we have our limitations, um, even when we say it's cheap as Louis Vuitton bags, I mean like it's by no means really that cheap I would say compared to other types of fashion houses. With that said, I think I'll set a limit around 20, anything less than $2,500 Canadian so $2,500 Canadian as my budget and we'll check out what's available interesting thing is that when you head to the Louis Vuitton website they actually don't have a limit or ranking where you can change the priority of the pricing available from lowest to highest so you really have to spend the time to go to the website and check out what's there so to start off the Neverfull PM is immediately off the list because it's $2,500 exactly. So my limit is $2,500 less than that. So, which is too bad because I feel like Neverfull is such a classic and it comes with this other additional clutch or little smaller bag inside. So I feel like it's such a great addition to any handbag lovers collection so that's a no for me the next one is the alma bb which has come under two thousand two hundred forty dollars right now the alma bb is looking at the monogram none of these are leather bags so far so the alma bb is such a classic so cute so iconic i feel like it's nice but you know i can see by the end of this year in 2022 this bag's probably gonna go up above twenty five hundred dollars and it's nice, it comes with all these other prints available as well, including the Demir Amen, which is one of my favorites. Next is the Speedy 25 that comes to $1,900. And I personally don't love the barrel kind of type bag, even though it's so iconic for Louis Vuitton. I think partially because being a mommy, I really love cross body bags in which you'll probably look for the bandolier version of this. but. That is unfortunately above the budget of $2,500 or less, so that is not on our list of bags to consider. But with that said, this one is, and it looks really cute if you're okay with a handheld bag, and it actually can put a lot of content in it as well, so great option if you're thinking for something classic. Next one is the Noe BB, which is also really cute. No feet on the bottom, also Canva, not leather, but it is at a price of $2,070, which could fit the budget for some people. Uh, it doesn't have a zipper, which um, I find that with the drawstring for bucket bags, it's really hard to get in and out of, but it looks very cute. And I can see it wearing casually as well with jeans as an alternate option. Next, you can see the Noe BB, as I mentioned just previously, has this also Demi Azura print, which I think I prefer over the other one, but the monogram is very classic. The Petite Noe is $2,150. It's a little bit bigger. Um, it's a bit boxy, so when you do wear it, crossbody sticks out a little bit. I, again, I don't love the drawstring feature, but it is one of the iconic features related to Noe bags. Next is the Noe purse. Now this one actually I've never pay attention to until I started doing this video and I think it's just so adorable. $2,030 for this Noe purse. Isn't this the most adorable thing ever? It's tiny but so cute. That said, 
we last but not least out of the Noe collection is the, of course the Nano Noe for two thousand two hundred forty dollars. Now, the Nano bags and micro bags have been all the rage lately, and the Noe collection, by no means exception, having a Nano version as well. But this one also has a top handle as you can see, so you can wear a crossbody, a top handle, lots of different options to play around. Comes in this monogram print. The Nano Speedy, oh my gosh, there has been so much hype about it when it initially came out and I still think it's a very much hyped up bag. I mean, it's really hard to find the Nano Speedy after all if you head to a store or even try to shop for it online. It's $2,240 for this newer version of the Nano Speedy and it's so adorable. I actually have not seen this in person and I would really much love to have this bag offered to me if I go to a store but wow such a great classic comes in a very cute size. Next is the Felice Pouchette in the Demiere event and it comes with a lots of other prints including the monogram and Demiere Sur as well. It comes at a price of $1,890 which I think is a pretty friendly price for Louis Vuitton say. Inside there are two additional inserts for card holders and such and I just think it's a really good buy for what you get. And it is pretty versatile in that you can make it into a clutch, you have this detachable chain that can go crossbody as well. So, so, so cute. Of course, there's also the Graceful PM that's priced at $2,240. It's a bigger bag, but maybe it's a really good mommy bag because you can throw a lot of different things in it. The th thing that I don't love about it is that it's more of a shoulder bag and I really love crossbody having my arms free, but looks like um, that the strap is not really detachable, so I don't know, maybe you can attach a chain to it if you really want to but it's really beautiful as it is in this Demir Azur Canva. Next is the easy pouch on strap which I actually saw in person and compared it to Felice. If you want to see more of that you can check out my other video. The easy pouch on strap I think is so classic, so cute. Just came out in January 2022. Can wear it so many different ways and yeah, I have a really beautiful silhouette and it is in emperor black leather. For a leather bag for $2,070 Canadian, that's pretty good for Louis Vuitton. And it comes with two straps, both something for crossbody and also for shoulder strap. I think it's a very cute addition. Next is the Alpha Wearable Wallet. It's priced at $1,960 in this classic watercrime print, but with this black gray spin to it. It has silver hardware and this kind of accordion style opening, I think is so practical to have this option for a wearable wallet. Next is the padlock on strap. This one is doesn't look like a true like traditional Louis Vuitton bag, but priced at $2,120 with two strap of a leather and also a chain. Reminds me a little bit of the easy bag on strap, but with epi leather and such an interesting kind of shape as well. So another great option. Here is the padlock on strap with the caramel monogram, which I think I prefer, but you can see the taper on the side of the bag so it doesn't bulge out as much. Has anyone have any experience with this bag? I frankly have not seen it, so it wasn't until I started looking at the cheapest LV bags for this video that I came across it, but it's interesting. Next is the double zip pouch hat. Uh, first in the Demir Azure for $1,720. I know it's not exactly a bag bag, but I just want to provide you guys with a couple options and also to give you a more a better perspective of what are more affordable bag options on Louis Vuitton nowadays given all the price increases. There aren't as many options as I initially thought there would be. The double soap out chat currently in the monogram, that's $1,810 with the strap here. 
And then the Favin Chain Wallet is not one I've ever seen before, uh, but this one is in the cream and it's $2,240 with the demi ribbon. It comes in the black as well, but looks like the pink one is more popular, it's been out of stock, but has one compartment inside with some card slots on the slide and no back pockets, but pretty cute, pretty different I would say. And also comes in a monogram as well. Or, sorry, the monogram and pure leather, but this one's over 2500 so it's outside the budget. The mini pouchette accessoire, which I know is not really a handbag, but I feel like nowadays everyone's been using it more of a handbag than just like a pouch on strap. It's currently $950 Canadian. That's right, $950 Canadian's breaking the thousand probably with a nice price increase, and that's in the demi bin. And last but not least, I want to go over the petite sack. This plat is one plat, which is <laughs> that's a petite sack plat price at two thousand two hundred forty dollars, and it has a strap to over the shoulder, a crossbody, and also a top handle. And funny enough, if you look at an Empire Black, it's actually cheaper to get it in a leather versus Canva. But I would say the leather looks cuter with the sleek black with the gold hardware. It's so beautiful. So I think this is a really cute option for $2,150 for a full leather bag. So that's it for the video on the cheapest Louis Vuitton bags. What do you guys think about this list? Are you surprised by what handbags fit under this price tag of two, less than $2,500 Canadian? I mean like I certainly was but there are a few kind of pleasant surprises and bags I never thought of before but certainly there are le less options nowadays and you can see a lot of it is in the Canva version. Well I'd love to hear your opinion or if there's other bags that maybe I miss on this list that you think should definitely be on the lookout for people who are looking for more affordable Louis Vuitton bags as I would probably private that specifically directly from Louis Vuitton rather than pre-love but I would love to hear from you and with that I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next mommy review take care and stay safe